بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته hope all the viewers around the world inshallah ta'ala are watching this and if you are inshallah ta'ala we're going to be continuing to doing the live streams with Ahmed and Ruh alhamdulillah rabbil alameen so I'm really excited to do that again inshallah ta'ala so as soon as he comes on inshallah it's, it's going to be awesome so alhamdulillah we now have uh, schedules and everything that align perfectly alhamdulillah and here he is right now inshallah so he'll be on in a couple of seconds inshallah as soon as he sends the invite and then we'll be able to continue before but today is going to be a special episode but usually we're going to be continuing the Riyadh al-Saliheen inshallah ta'ala but today we're going to be talking about something different I will let Shaykh Ahmed al -Ruh explain that to you guys inshallah Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you doing? Listen, long time. Alhamdulillah. I know, Mustafa, look at the new How many months? I know, man. It's, what, it has probably been since Alhamdulillah. October, maybe? November. Maybe something. three, four, five months. Subhanallah. 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 Well, like, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, I can't be any better. You know, I, this is one of the best months I enjoy, Wallahi. This is like, you know, no shayateen, you know, messing with people and all this stuff. I actually, it's not no shayateen, it's no jinn no shayateen. But there are human beings shayateen. Yeah. It's, it's shayateen, yeah. And, and and this, is, this is more difficult. <laughs> Yeah, I agree because you can't tell who it is. So. <laughs> Subhanallah. How about yours? Alhamdulillah. How about Alhamdulillah. Your How's your Masha. Masha. So why don't you go ahead and tell everyone about the live stream, inshallah, today. I told you it's going to be a special episode. You know, we're going to be continuing again, inshallah. Um, I have a new uh, location now, so our schedule should be much better, inshallah. And we'll be able to continue throughout the Salihin on another day. Um, but why don't you go ahead and explain what we're going to talk about, inshallah. I'd like today. to uh, discuss the Salah in details, inshallah. Okay, and uh, uh, you know there is a famous book. Okay, maybe it is the opposite. <laughs> this, this is yes, a very yeah, famous yeah, book uh, by Sheikh Al Albani. If it's Salat Nabi, Ali Salat Wasalam, the Salah, the Prophet's prayer described. Okay. Uh, um, by Sheikh Muhammad Al Albani. This is maybe one of the best books to tell you how to pray, like the Prophet. Right. But I like to discuss the Salah from another book. Why? Because this book, this book tells you how to pray from the Tabir or when you face the Qibla. Okay? But I like to take something before that. I mean, it is not. To face the qibla okay also the other thing, what are the conditions of salah the time of salah what is the time of the time of the maghrib okay and i like to take this from one of the hanbali books one of the hanbali books uh, which is called dalil uh, al-talib uh, dalil al-talib dalil means the guide talib means the student okay dalil al-talib about fuqh hanbali fuqh so i Inshallah, you are ready. Your not with you. Your pen with you, or without anything. My pen and notebook. Let me get one up here. Be serious and seek knowledge. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I got my own little room, Sheikh, own little message room. So everything here. Uh, so so, so uh, now, uh, alhamdulillah, we finished the taraweeh. Maybe you can taraweeh before 25 minutes. Yes, we finished taraweeh, alhamdulillah. Quick question, <laughs> Sheikh. This is very valuable. Yes. Sheikh, I'm going to ask you a question. No, the Lord here is that uh, uh, yeah. okay. I want to ask you Okay, and what about people in the UK? I think also in the UK, they do not... Uh, they do not break their fast, صح? صح. 
Okay, I, I don't know exactly. Okay. Uh, but you know, people in India, in advance, maybe two and a half hours. Uh, so, there's Tarawih, mashallah. Two and a half hours. Uh, so, quick question, Shaykh. Now that you brought up that Ramadan Tarawih, eight rakah or 20 rakah? Oh, the Sunnah, the Prophet, okay, as a brief, as a brief answer, the Prophet did not pray more than 13 rak'ah in Ramadan or other than Ramadan. That's it. This is the Sunnah. We'll leave it there. Pray, pray, inshallah, with the sisters. Alhamdulillah, wa salam ala Rasulullah, ashadu wa la ilaha illallah, wa ahdahu la ilaha uh, inshallah, we'll talk about the chapter of Salah from one of the Hanbali books uh, by a scholar called Mar'i ibn Yusuf. Mar'i ibn Yusuf Hanbali. He is one of the scholars, Hanbali scholars from the 11th century. I'll go to the chapter of Shurut al-Salah. Shurut al-Salah, conditions of the Salah. So there are conditions you have to fulfill them before you start your salah. He said the conditions of salah nine. The conditions of salah nine. This is nine. Okay, five, four, nine. Nine. What is this? Al Islam. So Islam is a condition for all the deeds, all the I mean all or our uh, acts of worship. Okay, Islam. Uh, then he said, Well, Akl, okay. So, if there is a mad person, that's not valid from him. So, say, What is the meaning of at tamiz? At tamiz from the word you may use, the verb you may use to differentiate, okay. Yani, um, to, to know this is coffee, this is water. So I can differentiate between the coffee and water. This is Ramadan. This is Eid. This is night. This is day. This is hot. This is cold. Okay. So to differentiate. Okay. So he said this is one of the conditions of the Salah to be valid that the person should be mumayyid, not pubert, not, not balanced. So there is a difference between blue puberty and atamiz discrimination. Okay. And uh, uh, here in the Hanbali, they say it is seven years old. So if the boy or the girl seven years old, then they can't pray. Why? Because they know the meaning of Salah. They know that when they pass wind, this breaks their wudu. They know this is the time of Maghrib. This is the time of Isha. So this is one of the conditions that your Salah is valid. Okay? And then question, uh, isn't there a hadith by the Prophet Sallallahu where he tells them like to teach your children to yeah. pray? The Hanbali, the Hanbali, they and use and... this hadith. Actually, this is about mm. the Salah. You tell them from the age of seven, when they reach to the age of seven, you tell them to pray. But the hadith doesn't tell you okay. that this is the time of discrimination. They can differentiate in the things. They can know the things. They can recognize the things. Because you know some that that can be from earlier, maybe from, from the age of six. Then mm -hmm. after that, he said, right. Also, the purity, if you are able for that, if you can do the tahara, the purity. Right? So this is a condition why? Because the Prophet said, لا يغبر الله صلاة أحدكم إذا أحدث حتى يتوضع Allah will not accept the prayer of anyone until he makes wudu, until he makes the ablution. Okay? So, he, so what is the point that when we say this is a condition, it means that if you, yeah, for example, now I finish the salah, taraweeh, I finish the isha salah. So now if I remember that I prayed the isha wudu without ablution, I forgot that. So now I, so is it valid my salah? Or not, not valid, but I forgot no, that. Yeah, okay, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive me because I forgot. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants me to pray again with wudu. Tamam? Mm -hmm. Okay, so 
اسلام عقل تمييز طهاره فور نمبر 5 دخول الوقت the time of the Muslim. and this is very important it's very important yeah so what is the meaning دخول الوقت it means it is the time of the salah you know because sometimes people say wallahi i have a class i have an exam i, I i'm go i have a flight so i'm going to pray now until you know it is not valid because you have time <laughs> yeah, and for example if the dhuhr adhan is 1 p.m. Okay, in America it is 1 p.m. Okay, and your flight is 12:30. So you say, "Allah, I like to 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 pray now." No, this is not valid. You have to st you have to wait until the time starts, because this is a condition. This is a condition. So it is not allowed to pray before the time. It is not allowed to pray before the time. Why? Because Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says. إن الصلاة كانت على المؤمنين كتابا موقوتا. The salah there is uh, it is a compulsory and also there uh, what does it mean موقوتا? It means it has a certain time. Right. It has the start right. and end time. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so Sheikh, so like for example, I know some people. I won't obviously mention the names or anything like this. But they have this mentality, Yanni, yeah, because here in the West, you know, when the time of Salah comes, they're at their workplace, they're shy, especially if it's a woman or a male. They, they don't want to pray the Salah. And then what they do is they'll go home and combine the actual Salah when they're at the house. You know, like, so they'll miss Duhur and Asr because of all the, the fear of ins. Oh, okay. This, is, this is the like, importance you know, the of knowing the rules of Salah. So this is one of the conditions of Salah to be valid. Okay, the, the, the start and the end. If you are praying within the start and the end, you are okay. Okay, but what is the problem? The problem if you pray before the time or you pray after the time. This is the problem. Okay, so yeah. don't feel shy. Why are you feeling shy? Okay, you are spending maybe four or five minutes to pray. What's the problem? Okay, are they going to kill you? Exactly. Okay, no. <laughs> so this is the point. This is the point. Yeah, that's like, true. This is true. This is so, uh, why we say there is a limit, there is a certain time, there is a start, and there is an end. Okay, because the Prophet, uh, the Prophet, yeah. وسلم, okay, there is a hadith that Jibreel came to him and he led the Prophet وسلم, in the salah, and he came next day and he led him in a different times of the salah. Then he said, the time of the salah, these two times. Okay, so it means they start and end. Uh, now he starts talking about the time of a dhuhr salah. He said, the time of dhuhr, means what is the time of Dhuhr Salah? From Az Zawal. What is the meaning of Az Zawal? Az Zawal, okay. The sun rises from the east. Then it goes to the middle of the sky. Then it goes to the west. But what happens? It stops for very short time. The middle. Okay. Then when it goes to the west side, this is Az Zawal. Then this is the starting time of Dhuhr. Imagine the sun right from the east. It goes to, okay, from here, from the east. Then it goes to the middle. It stops for a short time. Then to the west. So when the sun west. starts to move this yeah. side, okay, this is called Az Zawal. Az Zawal. And this is like, what we talked about in the previous live, live streams. Remember how we talked about Luho? Like, uh, like the Sunnah of delaying it only when it's extremely, extremely, extremely no. hot, for example, like in your country. It, it, it is not the time when it is extremely high, the temperature. Because... Oh, no, I mean like the, the, at the highest point. When the sun, when the sun is, is at the, the highest, point? Point, highest point, this is the time of Zawal. Okay? But when the temperature is the highest, I think it is 2 p.m. It is after Luho, maybe in one or two hours. 
So this okay. is the time of Al-Dhuhr. But what he said here, he said, إلى أن يصير ظل كل شيء مثل سوى ظل الزوال. You have to exclude the shade of the zawal. Okay, what is the meaning of that? He said, this is the starting point when the sun it is in the middle. Then this is the starting point of the dhuhr, adhan. Okay, what is the end time of the dhuhr? When your shade is equal to your height. So for example, if you put a pen, okay, what is the height of this pen? Yeah. 10 centimeters, okay? So when the shade is 10 centimeters, yeah. this is the end of the door. Oh, got it. But, but what he said? He said, Okay. So, uh, uh, what is the time of the door after one hour in your place? After, okay. I want to make sure at the time of the door, Adan. Do you have a shade or no? Yeah. Do we have a shade at the time of Adhan? Yes, but it's equal to the to the to the objects. Uh, You're the Dhuhr uh, uh, Shade. Okay. Sure. Yeah. For, uh, yeah for, for example, here in Kuwait, in summer, yeah, let's say in July, when I go to Dhuhr prayer, almost there is no shade for me. No shade. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah. so this is time yeah. of Dhuhr. So after Dhuhr, my oh. shade will be increasing, increasing, صح? Yes, yeah, the sun is going to the west. west. So when your shade is equal to your height, this is the end of, your, of the Dhuhr Adhan. Of the Dhuhr. The end of the Dhuhr Adhan yes. is equal to your height. Ah, okay. This is good to know if you're like lost or you don't have like the Adhan app or anything. Like for example, someone's like a Bedouin in the desert. He'll yeah. he'll understand what the times are without but, you know knowing the actual clock. In winter, yeah. For example, here in Kuwait, in winter, at the Dhuhr Adhan, when I stand up outside, there is a shade for me. Why? Because in winter the sun little bit not the center. Okay. okay. Yeah, so you yeah. yes, you have to. Lose this right. shade. Okay. Ah, okay. Tamar. I understand. I understand. All right. I hope that we learn something good. new today. Very, very humble. I learned. That's like, that's amazing because anywhere I go now, Yanni, I understand when it's time of door without even having to look at a clock. Like, oh, 12.56 door, you know? Okay. This is the time of the Dhuhr. So it's okay to pray in between any time. Of course, for us as men, we should go to the masjid and pray in the masjid. But for women, okay, it's okay to pray any time. If they hear the Adhan, they can't pray or before, before the end of the time in five minutes, ten minutes, no problem with them. Okay? Then okay. he said, after that, they had the time of the Asr. So now we said, what is the end of the Dhuhr when your shade is equal to your height? Then this is the end of the Dhuhr and this is the start of the Asr. Okay, so what, then he said, what is the end of the Asr? In the time, if your shade is double your height. So, for example, if you are two meters height, too much, huh? Two meters. Okay. Yes. Yes. Then, then, uh, <laughs> then, if your height, if your shade is four meters, then this is the end of the time of the recommended time for Asr. Okay, now, what is the mean recommended time for Asr? Because here, the scholars, like Hanbali scholars, they say, Al-Asr has two times. One of them is recommended, and one of them is for the necessity. Okay? Right. So, when, what is the start of the recommended time, of the optional time? Okay, when 
the the shade equals to your height until the shade equals to double your height. This is okay to play within this this time. But, but after your shade, when the, your shade double of your height until the sunset, this is called darura, the time of necessity. And it is haram. They say it is haram. It is not allowed to delay the salah without any use to that time. Okay, then yeah. what is the benefit of knowing the darura time? They say, yeah, for example, if there is a woman during the period, okay, now she during the period she praying, she became pure uh, just before maghrib adam, before the sun, in one hour. So we tell her, yalla, you have to take shower now and you pray al-asr. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So question, Shaykh. Uh, or maybe for some of the viewers, because maybe they don't know this, they're, you know, uh, delaying the asr prayer is maqul. And one of the following reasons, I believe there's a hadith, right, that the shaytan, that he likes to put his two horns right where the sun is, right, to... for Because like, I believe it's between these times that the sun... Uh, worshippers, you know, people who are doing magic or any of these things, they're worshipping the shaitan at this time. So is this the reason yes, why we don't yes, pray yes, at yes. those times? Yes. Uh, hadith, uh, the Prophet وسلم, said, the salah of the hypocrites, he waits, watching the sun, until the sun is in between the horns of the shaitan. It means all mm -hmm. the sun. He will stand up to pray for right quickly, in a hurry. He doesn't remember Allah except for a little. So the sunnah yes. is to pray asr immediately. This is one of, one of those prayers that you should pray. Yes. As soon as the Don't time of them comes, delay. pray immediately. Yeah, I know that. He said, whosoever misses the Asr prayer, it's as, if, as, it's as if he lost his whole family. As he lost his family and his wealth, not only his family. And there is another generation, his deeds, demolished, finished. Uh, so this is Al Asr time. Now, we go to Maghrib time. Uh, oh, sorry. And the, the, there is an, an, there is another narration. When the sun is yellow, when the sun is yellow, then it is makruh to delay asr salah until the sun becomes yellowish in color. Okay. But it's yellowish in color. And we're, by the way, guys, inshallah ta'ala, we have, with the questions we're going to get, inshallah, we'll answer those at the end. So for now, if you have questions, hold them or put them in the question box, and inshallah ta'ala, Sheikh Ahmed al he can explain that in more yes, detail. Yes, yes, maybe if you delay your, uh, postpone your question, inshallah, maybe I will answer during the explanation many questions. Like, then al-Maghrib, Adam, al-Maghrib salah. Waqt, waqt al-Maghrib hatta yagheeb al-shafaq al-ahmar. Okay, so what is the time of the Maghrib? Until the Ahmar appears. This is the end of the Maghrib. Why? Because what is the start of the Maghrib? When the sun disappears completely. So if you can see part of the sun, don't pray in Maghrib. This is the time of the Asr. But if the sun disappeared completely, this is the time. So be careful if you are outside and you can see the sun. Don't eat in Ramadan. You have to, you have to wait. Uh, uh, the scholars say, إِذَا غَابَ كَامِلٌ When the whole sun disappears. Then this is the time. So this is the time. So when the sky, so when the sky is pink, because like for here, like a big indication that the sun is like, Pretty much gone. If the you can't, the sun this is not the is that... Maghrib. Okay? Mm -hmm. So when oh. you see the sun disappear completely, the time of Maghrib. Okay? Then, then, then uh -huh. if you, okay. uh, uh, 
Okay, so this is the start of the Maghrib Adhan. And what is the end of Maghrib Adhan? Either he said, What is the meaning of the Ahmar? After the sun, after the sunset, you can see the horizon like a reddish color in the horizon. Okay, so this is called Shafaq al Ahmar. I don't want to put English as Shafaq. Um, uh, يعني, uh, like a pitch black, like black, uh, I don't know how to describe twilight. Twilight. Oh, the twilight. Um, uh, okay. Yes, 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 yes. Twilight. 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 After that's glow. Right. That's right. Afterglow. Afternoon. Uh, uh, afterglow. Um, yeah, twilight, I mean, huh? twilight's the best word. So twilight's really the best word. Yeah. Okay. From, from the sunset side, from the west side. If this red completely disappears, then this is the starting time of Isha. Okay? And here there is a point, there is a hadith. The Prophet said, ما لم يؤخر المغرب إلى أن تشتبك النجوم. This is narrated by Abu Dawood. I said this is authentic. My um will stay in goodness. Don't delay العش delay المغرب حتى تشتبك النجوم until the stars are clear. Can see the stars. Okay. What is the meaning of that? The time of the can you see the stars? Maybe difficult to see the stars. But if you wait maybe ten minutes, then you start to see the stars because it is darker. So that makes sense. Why you know some people they like to wait maybe fifteen minutes, then they pray in Maghrib. This is not something that is wrong. Yes, it is the time of Maghrib, but where, where is the problem? The problem, they delay originally. Then this is not Sunnah. There is a sect of people, they do that. I think okay. I know what you're talking about. Ends of, the, ends of the A. Alhamdulillah, no, this is good information yani, because again, the clarity, right? When, have when we clarity. finish the Maghrib Adhan, sorry, when we finish the Maghrib Salah, we hear the Adhan of this group. Subhanallah. <laughs> yes, they are, they are not following the Sunnah, they are following the Jews. Allah Almost Ta'an. Okay, now, so this is the start uh, of. Uh, Okay. There is someone here with a pen in the comment, huh? This is. I pinned this comment. I pinned this comment. So now this is the start of another. The important issue here, the initial side. This is very important, especially for sisters. Please, sisters, listen. This is very important for you. Of course, for all the Muslims. But specifically for sisters, he said, "The time of the recommended time of the Isha Salah, the end, until the first third, the end of the first third of night. Then it is a necessity time until the until the dawn." So now we we should know how to divide the night. Okay. What is the meaning of midnight? Uh, meaning of midnight is between. So for the when the start of the actual night fall until the moment the night rises, you calculate between the, the night the, the time and of the, the night start rises and time. What is the meaning of the night fall or the uh, and the night rises? Uh, the night 
like night rises is when the start of the time and then okay. when the night falls. How to then... know how to calculate the midnight? Okay, of course, number one, it is not 12 p.m. It is not 12 Okay, it is a 12 midnight. This is in our life, normal life. But Islamically, to know the midnight, you have to calculate from the sunset until the dawn. Min al Maghrib il al Fajr. So, for example, wait, what is the time of the Maghrib? It is about 6 p.m. Okay, what is the time of the yeah. Fajr? Let's say it is about 4 a.m. Okay, how many, how many hours? Uh, uh, six, uh, see, let's say uh, 12 hours. Yeah, about. Okay, from 6 to 4, ten hours, yeah. 10 hours. What is the half of. Ten hours, five hours. Okay, then you the five, five yeah. to so six p.m. So the midnight in Kuwait it is eleven p.m. Okay. Left. Yeah, I this is appro approximately. So this is the way yeah, yeah. sisters have to calculate midnight. Okay. Now mm -hmm. he said, what is the time of the Isha on the first third of night? So let's say if we have uh, the night here in you know, Kuwait, let's say it is 10 and a half hours. 10 hours and a half. So, okay. it will be 3 and a half, 3 and a half, 3 and a half. صح? So, صح. if the time of Maghrib, 6, so what is the first, third? 9.30. Okay? 9.30, okay. Is it complicated? Like, yeah. No, 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 no. Well, I'm loving it. It's actually very simple. So here, it's just, according, you take whatever the according time to is, the Hanbali, he it. said the time of Isha until 9.30. So, but not allowed to delay 9.30. The 9.30 of the 10, 10 hours? No, no. The, the, here in Kuwait, the first third is until 9.30. So, yes. delay the Isha song. Okay. Yes. So this relate. is the important point because you know sometimes okay. why why I'm seeing say especially sisters because let's say the brother usually they go to the masjid and we pray immediately after ten or twenty minutes. But the problem with sisters if they have a yeah. party, they finish their party, they came home, then they pray Isha. Maybe eleven thirty, one a.m. Okay, or if they have work, they come from work and they pray late, even the brothers. So this is wrong. This is wrong. Uh, so why they say it is until the third? He, because there is a hadith in Bukhari. Because the Prophet used to delay the Isha until the, uh, the third of the night. So now let me ask you about this, because I did bring this up to somebody before, and it was a bit of a little uh, conflict in the conversation I had with uh, this individual. I explained to them about the sunnah of delaying Isha, right? But then they bring up the, you know, how the hadith about, you know, pray the prayer at its given time and at the beginning of its time. So basically, the Isha prayer, uh, there's a hadith about the Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There was a time where, the, I believe it was the companion, I can't remember which one it was, they were trying to pray the Isha, but then he said, wait, wait. And then when the children and the woman went to sleep, that's when he said, if it were up to me not to burden my ummah, yes. this would be its time. So in this example, Yani, is this like the same example of what you're saying to delay the salah like this? Is this mm. something that's of the sunnah for the, to do to the Isha, only specifically for Isha, or should you pray it? For example, like this person was arguing to okay. pray basically, at the beginning of the basically, time. It's the, it's better to pray on time, which means at the beginning of every time. But for al it is an exception. It's better to pray al if it is easy. Yeah, for, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for example, for the brothers, for the men, okay, we pray in the masjid. So if you tell people, well, we like to pray two hours after Adhan, it will be difficult. You cannot control that. Many people will miss the jamaah. So we, uh, we pray after 10 or 20 minutes. That's it. But for women, 
who are praying at home, okay, they can delay until them, khalas. You, can, you pray after, for example, two hours or three hours of the Adhan. We tell you, we tell the, the sisters or those who are praying at home, also the brothers, or maybe they are praying at home because there is no masjid or they are sick. Okay, okay. we tell them, delay, it's better to delay Isha. Why? Because the peace of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa the one you mentioned. Okay. Also for Dhuhr. For Dhuhr, if the weather is too hot, it's better to delay Dhuhr. Okay? Why? Because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, فَإِنَّ شِدَّةِ الْحَرِّ Because this heat, the uh, the high temperature, this is from Jahannam, from the hellfire. So better to delay. Okay, so for, for example, in Kuwait, what is the time of uh, in summer? What is the time of Dhuhr Adhan? It is about 12, midday. Dhuhr Adhan. What is the time of Asr Adhan? It is about 3.30. So it's better to delay Dhuhr until 3 p.m., just half an hour before Asr. Like that. But if we are praying in the masjid, if you delay the Asr, a lot of people will miss the Salah, then khalas, you pray at the beginning of the time. That's it. Yeah. Pray. But, okay, but now back to the time of Isha. So you mentioned the one hadith. But there is another hadith that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, when you pray, you have a time until the midnight. So, uh, Sheikh Muhammad Rahimullah, he took this opinion that the end of Isha time is midnight, not the Fajr. So, you have to pray for the midnight. It is not, not allowed to delay that after the midnight. Mm -hmm. And is this the majority? Is this what the majority align with saying that, yani, that this is the time that Isha ends? Or is for, it, or is it, uh, for, uh, Abu Hanifa, Shafi, Ahmed, Al Bukhari, the time of the midnight. Okay, but what they say, majority of scholars, they say there is a necessity time until Fajr. Okay? But let me say, no, there is only one time for the Isha. You have to pray before the midnight. It's not allowed to delay it after the midnight. Okay, so we need to be serious about the Isha Salah. Because sometimes people say, well, I like to finish my work, I do my things, and I come home and I pray. If it is before the midnight, you pray, okay, but if it is after the midnight, it's not allowed. This is not, not allowed. You know, I notice, you know, some people, they say, well, I, Sheikh, no, 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 I, I, I don't like to pray at, at work. I like when I go home, I finish my duty, I take a shower, I change my clothes, and I pray. If you are praying on time, no problem. What, what is the problem? Some people, they, they come home after Asr Adhan. So they will have the time of Dhuhr. <laughs> the big problem. This is the big problem. No, you have, then you have to pray at work. You have to pray at work. Don't delay the Salah. Don't delay. I remember, I remember one person said, said uh, I come home late. And I pray for prayers. Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, Isha. This is haram. This is haram. Allah must have. Okay. Then he said, the time of Fajr, ila shuruq shams. What is the time of Fajr? From the dawn until the sunrise. This is the time of Fajr. Okay. If you see the dawn, the real dawn, because there are two types of dawn. There are two types of Fajr. There is the, okay. the first Fajr and second Fajr, or the liar Fajr and the, the real Fajr. So we mean here the real Fajr, the second Fajr. When you see the light in the horizon, this is the real Fajr. So the first, the yeah. first beam of yes, the because like ray they light. described the, the Fajr. What's mean Fajr? There is a light, Noor. Okay, the first one comes vertical, like this. It comes for a short time, then it disappears. This is the first, this is the fake fajr. Okay, don't pray. Okay. The real fajr, the second fajr, maybe after 15 minutes, after 17 minutes, it will be in the horizon. When it appears, 
it doesn't go it increases this, okay so this is the start of the fajr okay what is the end of the fajr the sunrise the sun rise so you have to pray the fajr between these two times you and yeah and wallahi we feel very sorry of many muslims when they fix the alarm 7:30 for work and the time of sunrise is 6 for example yeah about for example Kuwait, it is about yeah 4 5 42 you'll find many Muslims, they ignore the time of Fajr and the sunrise, and they fix their alarm 7.30 or 7. When we wake up, we pray Fajr. This is haram, not allowed. You are praying after the time. This okay? Uh, then he said, So now he mentioned what is the start and the end of every day. Now, how can I catch, what is the minimum time to catch the time of Salah? He said, if you can catch the takbir to Yeah. The minimum. Okay, what, what does he mean by minimum? He means, yeah, for example, uh, you are working or you are doing something and now the time of Fajr. So now, what is the time? The time, uh, 4 59 4 50, and what is the time? Okay. right no, no what is the time of sunrise 6 a.m so one minute left so if you say allahu akbar and you started surah al-fatiha then you, you saw the sunrise then we tell you that alhamdulillah you caught the time of the fajr why because you start about takbir Okay. Oh, I understand now. But the other opinion, other scholars said, you 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 catch the time of the salah if you do the ruku. Yes. Okay. So, but what's the stronger opinion? Allah what's the stronger? Yani, catching the takbir. Scholars, humble scholars, they said takbir. Because the takbir of the time of salah, and no doubt okay. this is a strong opinion. And the, the other opinion, they say, yeah. uh, the, the majority of scholars, they say, no, if, if you do the ruku, why? Because the Prophet وسلم, said, Man adraka rak'ata min as subh, yes. the one who caught one rak'ah before he rise, then he caught the salah. Okay. He did the salah. Major scholar said, no, it is not the takbir, it is the ruku. If you think it's one minute or two minutes, don't, don't push yourself for this situation. Okay? Yeah. That's like something that's a rare circumstance that happens. Like maybe you're so exhausted, and subhanAllah, you oversleep and you check, oh, subhanAllah, only like two minutes left. Uh, then يعني, he said, وَيَحْرُمُ تَأْخِيرُ الصَّلَاءَ عَنْ وَقْتِ الْجَوَازِ يعني, What he mentioned for the Isha and also for the Asr, there is a recommended time and there is a time for necessity. So he said, it is haram, it is not allowed to delay the Salah until the necessity time. Okay, so you should pray on time that of the optional time, the recommended, don't delay. Then he said, وَيَجُوزُ تَأْخِيرُ فِعْلِهَا فِي الْوَقْتِ مَعَ الْعَزْمِ عَلَيْهِ uh, He said, it is allowed to delay the, the salah if it is in time. Yeah, for example, I hear the, the, the Asr Adhan, 3.30 p.m. Okay. Now my intention to pray after one hour. Is it allowed? Yes, this is allowed. Because still I have time that Maghrib Adhan 7 p.m. I have time. No problem. So he said this is allowed. But he said to pray at the beginning of the time, this is better for you. So 
So you can, can delay, for example, one hour if, you, if, you, if it's within the time, but no doubt to pray at the beginning, this is better. And maybe the implied meaning for that, inshallah, is probably because moat, moat can come to you at any given moment. Better to secure the salah. Yeah, and sure, we, that, we, tell, know, we tell people this is, this is your right. Yeah, and for example, what is the time of an asr from 3.30 until 7.30? Okay, so if at home, she said, well, I don't want to pray, I want to pray 4.30. Then suppose this person passed away. Allah will not punish this person because he did not pray Asr. Why? Because he his intention to pray on time. So it is your right. This is your right. Okay. Uh, then he said, uh, sorry, here in the Sharh he mentioned, yeah, for example, what is better for Al-Fajr Salah? What is better for Al-Fajr? Is it better to pray at the beginning of the time or to delay a little bit? Why? Because we have hadith that the Prophet Sallallahu uh, Alaihi Wasallam يعني كان يصلي بغلس حديث Bukhari. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was praying Al-Fajr بغلس. What is بغلس when it is too dark? Oh, yeah, you this see means he was at the beginning of the time or he was delaying a little bit? Yeah, yeah. this means he was praying at the beginning of the time. So, here the advance, maybe you pray after 15, 20 minutes. Okay, the other opinion, Hanafi opinion, they say, no, it's a bit of delay. And for example, if the Fajr, Fajr time from 5 a.m. until 6.30 a.m., okay? He said, you play 6, 6 a.m. 6 what? Oh, okay, so 30 yes. minutes before Why? the Fajr. Because they said, there is a hadith, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, أَسْفِرُوا بِالْفَجْرُ فَإِنَّهُ أَعْضَمْ لِلْأَجْرِ He said, uh, pray your Fajr when it is light, because it is more reward. And then that was the, uh, is that hadith strong? Yes. Is it sahih? Hadith, it hasan, tell me they said this is sahih hadith and also Sheikh Al-Albani. Okay. Oh, okay. And, and sorry, so now, sorry. Question Some share. scholars, they, they say right. how to yeah. join between these two hadith. Okay, they say, you, yani, because the Prophet Sallallahu used to pray long salah. So when you start the salah, the fajr, it should be when it is too dark, but you prolong your salah until the, the light is stronger. So your salah should take time after time. And you pray Fajr maybe 40 minutes, not only seven minutes or eight minutes. Read something. Uh, yeah. Okay? Yeah. It's uh, there's sunnahs, right? There's sunnahs for Fajr. In India, uh, there are many places, like. Hanafi. So I remember they pray. Fajr maybe one hour after the Adhan. And this is good. One hour yeah. after the <laughs> They give us chance <laughs> to sleep. Huh? Like, Subhanallah. Then he said, then he said, وَيَجِبُ قَضَاءُ الصَّلَاةِ فَائِتَ مُرَتَّبَ فَوْرًا He said, it, you have to make up the missed salah in order. Uh, this is an issue. This is an issue that if the salah, what do, what do I mean missing the salah? Uh, someone, he was lazy. Okay, yani now we, yani, uh, we finished the Isha. Then he went to the masjid, he said, Wallahi, I don't pray the Asr Maghrib Isha. Why? He said, well, I, I was lazy, busy, something like this. Okay, number one, this is haram. You're not allowed to delay the salah. And we tell you, you have to make up this salah in order. So now you have to pray dhuhr, then asr, then maghrib, then isha. In order. So pray in the order okay. is always given. So this is the opinion of majority of scholars. Majority of scholars say that if you have a salah, you have to make up this salah. Even if you miss them for years. 
مشكله سبحان ها يعني لايك الشيخ معتمير رحمه الله الشيخ الالباني they took the second opinion which says that if intentionally you miss a salah then we don't have to make up the salah but you have to make tawba istighfar you have to repent to Allah because this is a major mistake this is a big problem طيب but major scholars major scholars say you have to make up the salah So if there is, yani, what, what, what do they mean, major scholars? Yani, for example, if someone now came to you, his age, 20 years old, okay. and he's saying, well, I, I was not praying, I was not practicing, I was praying on and off. So now, خلاص, astaghfirullah, I repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So uh, we tell him, according to major scholars, you have to make up the missed salah. Well, I don't know, I missed a lot. We tell you us, you submit if you pray twice. Like that. This is the opinion of major scholars. But the other opinion, خلاص, no need. Why? Because as we mentioned at the beginning, for every salah there is a start and there is an end. If the time finish, خلاص, no way to make up this salah. Except if you are sick. So, if you are, if you are sleeping. Or if you forgot the salah. So, yeah, for example, oh, now yeah, in Kuwait yeah. we finish in Isha. So if someone said, oh, I forgot the Dhuhr salah. Then we tell you, now you have to pray. Okay. okay. Or if someone overslept and he missed three or four salah, we tell him, when you wake up, you have to make up this. Okay. okay. Um, I think about... I was... So now example. and now we, we give ch- 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 okay. uh, perfect perfect uh, so now my question is also regarding that last subject you were talking about for example I believe some of the scholars they also say like for example if you do miss that salah uh, like for example someone who maybe just like how you said came back to the deen you know they're practicing but they missed many years of salah They said the best thing you can do is obviously ask for Tawbah, like how you said, but also increase your nawafil, like your, your voluntary prayers, increase that as to be somewhat of a compensation of, of the actual fault salah, even though that holds higher value. So, يعني, yes, for, for any deficiency in any ibadah, try to do optional. For example, if you if you were not giving if you are you are not fasting Ramadan for years, so now we tell you try to fast optional fast every Monday, every Thursday like this, and the same thing Salah. Try to do Qiyamul Layl, Duha Salah. Do a lot of voluntary Salah. So yeah, So now the pinned comment, Sheikh. Uh, they were talking about, let's see, in terms of the clock, is it like one hour before Maghrib, Maghrib for it? I cannot be decide one faster. hour before Maghrib. Why? Because it differs from one country to another country. And also, not country, also it differs oh. in Kuwait. Yeah. In Kuwait, uh, nowadays, uh, it is about three hours between Asr and Maghrib. But there is a time it is about two and a half hours. There is a time it is three and a half hours. So in the same country, it differs from winter to summer. So how can, how can you estimate, okay? So, you can check the, the height of the things. If it is double, okay, then it is the, the haram time or it is the not recommended time to pray. Or when you notice that the sun now, it is darker in color. Okay? Mm. God, I hope that clarifies the question, Shah. This person I know, they're in California, so um, a very good close friend of ours, family friend. So, Shah Ta'ala, I hope okay. that clarifies clar- clarify it for you. Right. Um, so, for those of you joining right now, feel free to ask any questions, Inshallah, related, related to the topic or anything in the deen, Inshallah. Or, uh, yani, since it's the month of Ramadan, maybe you have some you know, basic fiqh. Questions or anything like this, Sheikh Ahmed Rouf will gladly answer it for you, inshallah. Ta'ala. 
He's a very knowledgeable brother. And uh, let me see if we have any in the question box. No question. Okay, no question. Yeah. People sleeping because of the Siam, you know. Sheikh, okay. In your country, but alhamdulillah, in our country now it is time for, mashallah, night. This is the active time in Kuwait. <laughs> Allah, Allah. You know, Sheikh, I live now in, a, I live in Nevada. It's a desert here. So for us, it's, it's you know Las Vegas. I, I think know. you know about Las, Las Vegas. Vegas. <laughs> it's, big, it's a big, oh, Sheikh, <laughs> Las Vegas, big fit and city. Everybody comes here around the world for, for gambling and alcohol and all these other things. I don't believe in that. But, but good place yeah. to get down. Good, good place to get down. In Kuwait yeah. and America and everywhere. But it's very hot here. Please, please. It'll be but, like 120 degrees. Don't say very hot. So like, if, you know, if you like to know very hot, come to Kuwait. <laughs> <laughs> Inshallah, Inshallah. Inshallah. You know, in Inshallah. summer, in July, August, if you come at night, maybe it is, it is 42, 43 at night. The <laughs> Fajr time, it is 40, 39, 40, the Fajr time. Of course, don't ask about the noon time. <laughs> Just, I don't want to know, I don't want to know. <laughs> Well, that means you have to have, if you have your AC go out, you're, <laughs> you're done, basically. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. I remember when my, my doctor, like, he, he saying the weather in Kuwait, he was talking about insects and uh, parasites. He said the weather in Kuwait, two seasons, hot and very hot. This is what you have in Kuwait. <laughs> alhamdulillah. But, but you... Well, Maybe some people think this is very difficult. But wallahi, if you come to Kuwait, okay, during the summer, you'll find people practicing their life. Alhamdulillah, we practice our normal. We go to work, the children go to the school. Also, after Asr, they football outside, they do their exercise. Alhamdulillah, the life is normal. We fast Ramadan, you know, before 10 years, it was the middle of the summer. Alhamdulillah. You notice people doing exercise in the summer before the iftar. Alhamdulillah, this is from Allah. I don't know how they do it. The I same thing, I cannot fun. imagine people, for example, in Canada, how they can live uh, if it is snow and it is minus 10. I cannot imagine. <laughs> yeah, I prefer the desert anytime, oh. honestly. Honestly, inshallah. If anyone has a question before we let Sheikh go you know now's the time to ask if not inshallah ta'ala we're gonna be doing live streams again inshallah and obviously we're gonna set a particular time and day whatever works for the chef's uh schedule and we will be continuing riyadh salim but before i let you go chef if you could please send me that book you were reading the the, the salah book no i'm not Sheikh, I'm, I'm, I'm reading from before. another book this this is no, I'm, but no, I'm, no, no. That's I'm not sure if there's a translation for it Shall I try? If I find translation, it would be very good. Inshallah, yeah, that way the, the viewers can benefit because I think the... To rewatch. Okay. I don't have I, a YouTube channel. Shall I Shaykh, do it? Shaykh, I'm going to roast that. Inshallah. Inshallah, ta'ala. Inshallah. 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 It's always a pleasure. Wallahi, I love doing these live streams and... Alhamdulillah, people have been asking for it and they wanted to benefit from the aim. Inshallah ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.